This is Travelport Accelerator, the pitches. Six innovative technology companies are going head to head to pitch their ideas on how to transform travel retailing through hyper-personalized digital marketing. Who will come out on top? Ready to hear the finalist pitches are top experts from some of the biggest names in travel, including Southwest Airlines, Priceline, Amex GBT, Christofferson Business Travel, Direct Travel, and Internova Travel Group. Adobe is pitching the world's largest unified travel ID. Hi everyone, my name is Ben Ryle. I'm an account director at Adobe in our digital experience business. Uh, for those that uh, don't uh, know all that much about Adobe, and we're hard not to know a brand like Adobe, um, is we, we focus in everything from creative, document and digital experience. In the digital experience business, we have the industry's only end-to-end -end customer experience management platform. The reason we're here today is to talk about um, a problem um, I think every brand faces, which is the lack of customer data. Lack of customer data makes it incredibly difficult to deliver exceptional customer experience, particularly at scale. Throughout that customer journey today, let's face it, it's fragmented. There's different, um, there's different stages which somebody might drop off. There's different customer data points which we may or may not have. There's different teams working this together. What Adobe does with their Adobe Experience platform is we bring in all of these different data points, small, large fragments and more into a unified view of the customer. Personalization is the key point here. What if you could drive in-moment engagement with your customer, delivering the right content to that right person? So if we look at how we actually bring this together without going too technical, the first part is collecting that data to create that unified view of the customer and in real time. And there's a few key points to be aware of. One is consent and then having that governance inbuilt on every single data point with the customer. Next is cross device management at scale, uh, looking at deterministic um, match graph. The other point is segmentation. How do you then segment that data in smart, interactive ways to find the right customer to target and using AI and machine learning with predefined use cases as well as uploading your own algorithms. This is the core of Adobe Experience platform, which then enables us to um, activate customer experience across advertising, um, known channels such as in-app, on web, um, email, CRM, um, custom uh, service calls, and many more, right? So that's the core of the platform. But even at this advanced level, we still only know what we know about the customer. Um, how can we go further? What we have seen happen in the industry is a large emergence of a second party data marketplace. This is where brands are working together to enrich what they know about their customers with collaborations with partnerships. So what if we could bring all of this data into a single unified travel ID for the industry that is run and owned by a trusted brand like Travelport? That would then create the largest travel ID to know almost everything there is to know about that customer. And just think about the scale of that, right? So somebody lands on your website for the first time, you could know if they are in market, if they've already purchased, what their free, uh, purchase to frequency is. Is it a, a single person, a family, a business traveler or whatever? This would enable um, endless customer experience use cases throughout every aspect of the customer journey. What that's gonna enable brands to do is deliver customer experiences you, we can all dream of and think of, but find it almost impossible to deliver. I think bringing this to market is a key part to it. The last point we'd like to talk about is uh, moving away from traditional approaches. A lot of brands rely on third party data aggregators to enrich what we know, which at best to many has been um, equal levels of accuracy of that data which has made even harder of the deprecation of the third party cookie. Here we have an alternative and much more specific way of doing it. The, the, uh, the other approach to think about is um, as this goes away, as we move forward, brands are forced to rely further and further on Google and Facebook. Uh, love hate relationship, right? But we hand over our data, enriches their algorithm. And what it feels like we get back is in increased bids, having to bid higher for the same audience. Yes, we drive value. Uh, but the point is here is what if you could generate more return from your marketing using your data and those points in the moment of the customer journey? We believe it's an opportunity to bring together travel ports, a uh, place in the market, Adobe's industry leading technology and the travel industry. Help me try to understand. So is there an opt-in for the user to supply their data into the profile or is that data going into your system, your profile system through third parties such as us? And if 
if it's coming through us and not from the end user, how are, from a privacy standpoint and a privacy law standpoint, how is the user protected if we're supplying their data in they don't know? Great question uh, and, and critical for this to work. Uh, consent comes first, above and beyond all for all of this thing. This, I mean, this is why one of the reasons, right, you've seen the deprecation of third party cookie, GDPR and everything else that's happened, I think is a good thing. We build that with mine. So if you think about the data that can go in, so we shared about the governance model, model built to the experience platform. So someone has to opt in to able to allow the data to be shared in the first place. All of this will be shared in the data capture and it's only that data captured that goes into that unified profile, which is updated in real time because people move in and out of this all the time, right? So that is built into the technology and an underlying principle for this to work in the first place. Great job, Ben. Thank Super you. cool. Great job. Thanks. Yeah, great job. Thank you. It's a very delicate model that they're trying to go after. I don't think that that should stop them or the rest of the industry us from pursuing some solutions there. I, I think that it's worth exploring for sure.